Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to provide uh, delay in 8051 microcontroller using timers. So, as we all know, timers are used to count the clocks and generally are used to provide delays and they can be acts as timers and counters counters acts uh, when we try to count the external pulses which are coming to any specific pin of the microcontroller so this 8051 microcontroller has two timers uh, those timers are known as timer 0 and timer 1 so it has two timers uh timer 0 and timer 1 both the timers are of 16 bit these are some of the specification and they are up timers or you can say up counters up counters means that means they starts counting from 0 0 towards upper side towards ff or uh, depending on the configuration of the timer whether we are using in 13 bit mode or 16 bit mode and so so these are up timers or counters and similarly both the timers uh, are 16 bits so we need to transfer some of the values into it so the lower part and higher part can be accessed by like tl0 and th0 for timer 0 and tl1 and th1 for timer 1 so suppose if you want to uh, save certain value in timer in timer 1 so these are the two parts lower upper higher part and the lower hyper part for timer 1 these lower part will be accessed by tl1 and higher part will be accessed by th1 similarly for timer 0 <coughs> now this timer counts like if the value is 0, 0, 0. so its value goes up to 0, 0, 0, 0001 on one clock cycle one clock cycle that means so within this clock cycle it will count one so in a sense it keeps on counting the clock cycles and based on that we can provide the delay so uh, for that purpose we have some other parameters of these timers as well and they are the two uh, separate registers which are used to control this timer these are known as the t-mode register and the t-con register so first we'll talk about t-mode register so this t-mode register has two separate parts for timer 0 and the timer 1 so the flags within these timer 0 and timer 1 part of this t-mode are the same now the first is m0 m1 then counter oblique timer and then gate this M0 and M1 used to define like or like whether in which mode this timer will operate. So if these are 0, 0, then we have 13 bit timer. Uh, that means it will it starts counting from 0, 0 to 1 FFF. And if it is 0, 1, then it is 16 bit timer oblique counter. And it is 1, 0, then it is mode 2. And it is uh, used as 8 bit auto reload mode. 8 bit auto reload mode means. Uh, the lower 8 bits of the count uh, uh, timer uh, uh, value will be acts as a timer and the upper higher bits uh, will uh, we will be stored uh, with some value and as soon as it ups, uh, it reads up to its maximum value like ff whatever the content of this upper higher bits that will reload into the uh, lower portion so this is known as the auto reload mode <clears throat> Similarly, uh, when M0, M1 are 1, 1, so these are uh, mode 3. In mode 3, it's access a split timer and counter. So TL0 uh, can be acts, uh, timer 0 can be accessed two separate counter. Uh, time, uh, this timer 0 can be accessed two separate uh, timers, one for this and one for this. So timer 1 is deactivated in this mode. And all the mode operations which are used for timer 1 those will be used to configure this particular timers okay so this is the split auto reload mode <coughs> now this counter oblique timer bit is used to define whether this timer will act as a counter or timer so if it is 0 it will access timer and if it is 1 it will access counter 
and the gate pin is used to define whether we want to start timers or counter from input signal or from the hardware signal so if it is one then we need external external pin uh, intx pin uh, should be high in order to start the timer if it is zero then we can start the timer from the uh, software means only and we'll look into that similarly there is another uh, uh, register is that is timer control register so timer control register means uh, these uh, they are flags which are used to start the timers and they are flags which set when timer overflows so this tr0 is the timer bit as soon as we set it to 1 timer 0 will be started and it starts counting similarly tr1 is uh, if this tr1 is set timer 1 will be started and this TF0 is the flag of indicator whether uh, timer has reached up to its maximum value or not. So as soon as timer hits its maximum count, this TF0 flag sets for timer 0 and this TF1 flag sets for timer 1. So we will, uh, when we write a program, we set this as soon as start the timer and we keep checking this timer flag bit to check whether timer has uh, hit its maximum count or not. The upper and lower four bits are used for the interrupt purpose and we will talk about this when we'll be discussing about the interrupts. So these are the uh, counters. Now next thing comes like what should be the timer, uh, timer value uh, in order to uh, get a specific amount of delay. So let's take an example. We want, uh, suppose, one millisecond of time delay, and uh, we have oscillator frequency of 12 megahertz. Okay. So <coughs> let's start it. We want one millisecond of delay, and oscillator frequency is 12 megahertz. So what should be the uh, value into the timer so that we get exact amount of delay? So uh, first of all, 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 we will find the clock frequency and we know it, clock frequency is simply oscillator frequency by 12, so it comes out to be 1 microsecond or 1 megahertz uh, because it is the frequency. So the clock time is 1 microsecond. And we take, uh, we also said that uh, timer uh, increase its counting position on a single clock. That means on one counting step, one counting step or timer is equals to one microsecond. Right? <coughs> now, uh, so number of counting step we required for 1 millisecond of delay. So number of countings or you can say counting steps which will be required for 1 millisecond of delay will be simply 1 millisecond divided by 1 microsecond and it comes out to be 1000. So uh, simply we need 1000 uh, timer steps or 1000 timer steps in order to provide a 1 millisecond of delay. Now we will be using uh, timer 0 in 16 bit auto reload mode. That means when we talk about 16 bit auto reload mode, it will go maximum up to F, 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 F. So we need to find the value uh, that means 1000 steps below the value by which uh, because if we timer will start from this and it will uh, <coughs> timer will start from this value and it will start up counting so it will go up to fff in 1000 steps so this fff comes out to be uh, in decimal 65536 uh, we are right and 1000 steps below will be 645 Three, six. So let's see what is the corresponding uh, uh, value in the hexadecimal corresponding to this. So let's open Kelsey and select view 
in programmer mode okay here's the hex so we have six four five five three six uh, wait six five five three six okay six five five three six let's see uh, okay it's ten thousand in hexadecimal okay so let's clear it uh, we have f f f f uh, what will be the six five five three five yeah uh, so it's up to zero to six five five three six that was fine so we have six four five three six and let's check its hex well so value is fc one eight so we have this fc one eight that means we will load timer content from fc one eight and we will start timer so it will start counting and will be keep on checking tf0 flag and as soon as it reaches uh, up to fff time reaches up to fff tf0 flag will be set and will come out from that loop so this is how we will uh, write a program for that <coughs> now out of this this will go into th0 uh, higher bits and this will go into the lower bits now uh, for t mode and t con register uh, the content because we will be using timer 0 in uh, uh, mode 1 so the content of t mode will be simply uh, let's see open this t mode so for t mode this will be 0 0 0 and this will be 0 0 because we are using a timer and we want to start the timer for the software means and we are using mode 1 so 0 1 so t mode will be equals to 0x 0, 0 1 so that's it now let's start a program let's write a program in kill for the same way uh, let's start with new project on desktop uh, let's first create a file folder test timer and then Timer select atmel and uh, let's see 89c51 and then yes okay okay and uh, let's create a file let's save it tm.asm and let's start program okay we need to add this file into the source select asm source file Okay, and then select options for target one so set here 12 megahertz and create hex file if you want to generate a hex file let's start program org00h and first of all move t mode uh, hex has 01h <coughs> then uh, because uh, okay we will generate uh, some um, pulse or high to low pulse on any pin so set bit p 1.0 and then we will call delay and then clr p 1.0 and then we will again call delay and then uh, because we want to keep on repeating again and again we'll go into again so it will go here again and here we will write in our delay so in delay first of all we will transfer th0 comma hash 0 f f c f and move tl0 comma hash uh, 0 f c it was 1 8 f c 1 8 one 8h and because we have loaded the timers so we will start the timer set bit simply set bit tr0 so as soon as you set bit tr0 it start the timer and because uh, at starting tf0 flag is 0 so we will keep on jumping here checking here uh, here jump on no bit tf0 comma here so it will keep on checking 
jump or no bit as soon as tf flag is set to one it will come out from this command and we will uh, clr tr0 we will stop the timer uh, we will uh, clear the flag so that again we, we are using it so we don't need to again uh, reset it and then we will return from it and then end so let's see if we are right okay zero error and let's compile it okay so we'll go into the logic analyzer in order to see <coughs> whether it's done or not so p 1.0 okay and then okay start the program so yeah there's a clock at p 1.0 so let's see how much delay we are getting for single one so first we'll click here and then click here so it's coming out to be 1.015 microsecond yes it is 1.015 millisecond and because we write the program for one millisecond so this is very accurate to it so there is only percentage error of 0 0.01 uh, now uh, these errors are coming due to the fact like uh, uh, let's stop the debugging because these are 1 2 3 4 and these 5 commands are starting so if we start with the fc 2 3 uh, by keeping all these machines which are taking part in it as well uh, we can write program for more uh, accurate delay so let's debug again okay and let's start and let's stop so let's see so right now it is 0 0.999273 millisecond so this is how this much of accuracy we can get with the timers uh, this much of accuracy we can't get if we want to provide delay using some other means like which we have discussed previously using uh, <coughs> using those uh, using normal command so this is how timer is used and this is how we can provide delay in an assembly language program using timer and uh, that too with accurate so i hope you understand about uh, how to use this timer for its 051 microcontroller and how to provide delay in its 051 microcontroller using timer so that's it for this video thank you